Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about asymptotic properties or large sample properties of OLS. And I talked about this population coefficient value, which describes the relationship between x variable and y variable. And I said that since we do not know about that population value, all we have is an estimated value from our sample. And we hope that if we pick our sample again and again, on average, our coefficient value will be equal to the actual coefficient value. And uh, since uh, these coefficient values that we will estimate using samples, they will have a probability distribution that is sometimes will be far away from this population coefficient value and sometime we will hit on this population parameter very closely. And all we are saying here is that on average, our estimated value from sample will be equal to the population value. In this video, I want to talk about the first assumption of OLS when our sample size is large, which is the consistency of OLS estimate. Okay, so what we are saying here is that if an estimate is consistent, the distribution of our estimated coefficient values that we will estimate from a sample, it becomes more and more closely distributed around beta j as n gets larger and larger. And in fact, if n goes to infinity, our beta j estimated will collapse to the population beta j. So which means that more observations in the data are preferred. So let me show you what do we mean by this. Say we are estimating these beta j parameters using 30 values. So as we increase uh, the number of observations in the data set, we are becoming closer and closer to the actual values. So in fact, if our n is large enough, then we'll get correct estimate every time we'll pick a sample. Essentially, what this means is that we are estimating our, this coefficient value from this population. So we'll get the same number every time we'll pick a sample from this population. And in this case, the sample is the whole population. So we'll get the same coefficient value every time. That is when n goes to infinity. Uh, it is always a good idea that we increase our sample size so that we can get consistent estimators. That is the probability limit as n gets larger and larger, beta j hat, that is our estimated value, it approaches the population beta j plus the covariance xj and error term divided by the variance of xj. So remember, according to one of the assumptions, then if this covariance is zero, that is none of the x variable is correlated with the error term, then we'll get on this case. So we'll get a consistent estimator. So this is crucial assumption of OLS that these x variables should not be correlated with the, the error term. So what if this term is positive? So if this term is positive, then we'll get beta j delta j. So this will be the bias. So this is the same bias that we discussed in one of the previous lectures. And the direction of the bias will depend on whether beta j, let's call this beta i, that is the ith beta coefficient, whether beta i is positive, negative, and similarly, whether delta 1 is positive or delta 1 is negative, and any combination of these. So we can easily estimate the bias in the estimated value of a coefficient and the population value by looking at this. So one thing to note here is that this bias does not go away if n goes to infinity, right? So if there is a bias that is x variable or any of the x variable is correlated with the error term, this will create a bias in the estimates of these coefficient values and this bias will not go away even if n gets larger and larger, which means even increasing our number of observations will not help us get unbiased estimates. This was the bias in case of a simple linear model. If we have multiple linear regression model, this bias is difficult to calculate. So anyways, the goal here is to get a consistent estimator. That is, if we increase our sample size, we'll get closer and closer to this population parameter. And we can do this by increasing our sample size unless there is a correlation between other x variables and the error term. If there is some correlation between these variables, we'll be creating a bias in the estimated effects, and this bias will not go away even with more observations in the data set. 
So this is the first property of OLS when n is large. In the next lecture, I'm going to talk about the normality of these OLS estimates. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.